Veles' book also mentions Trojan, and in context of Slavic religiosity, namely, here the name Trojan refers to one of the Slavic patriarchs. The Trojan from Veles' book was, therefore, one of the magicians, that is, a priest, and out of respect for this person, a period of Slavic history was called Trojan Ages. No matter how we understand Trojan, we must take into account that this is a special being that is in no way connected to the Roman Emperor of the similar name, but that it is most likely the, that the cult of this being, whether he was magician or a demon, whether he was a priest or a demon, was a basis of the cult of the Roman Emperor Trajan. Because even as a demon, Trajan had to exist in human consciousness independently of the existence of Emperor Trajan. And the following facts support this thesis. Male beings who have relations with women under the cover of night exist in legends of many peoples, so it is not surprising that such entity also appears in the midst of Slavs. One of the names of this entity is Incubus, while the female form of this demon, which has relations with men, is Succubus. That Trajan is in some way connected with sexual energy is also shown by the fact that he is described in similar way to Pan, a voluptuous creature from Roman folklore. The demon is partly a man and partly a goat, as Serbian legends describe him as a man with goat's ears. The Roman Emperor, who lived in the 1st and 2nd centuries AD, could not therefore have become an object of worship by himself if there had not already been a being with a similar or the same name in Slavic mythology. It is extremely absurd that a Slavic country, Russia, is called the country of Roman Emperor who in his conquests reached the furthest on to the banks of Danube. Even if the Emperor Trajan was deified in this way, the question remains why other Roman emperors were not also declared gods or demons by the Slavs. Lada Lada is one of favorite deities among the Serbs. She enjoyed great love as the goddess of love and harmony. She was especially respected by women and enjoyed the voice of a generous goddess. The memory of the goddess Lada remained for a long time in Christianity. Christmas Eve was called generous evening after her. Was called Ladarice after her. L Ladas or carol songs were sung. Lada is a Serbian goddess of love and beauty who appears among the other nations as Freya, Isis, Aphrodite and many others. Lada lives in Iri, the world of gods and the dead, until spring, when she emerges and begins the period when she rules the earth. At the end of the summer, she returns to Iri again. Although her reign begins in March 21, Lada is above all the goddess of summer. Lada's animals are rooster, deer, ant and eagle, while her plants are cherry, buttercup, linden and peony. Besides the planet Venus, the constellation Taurus corresponds to the lady. Lada is presented as a girl with long golden hair, which symbolizes her function as the fertility deity, thus making her an aspect of the Great Mother. On her chest was sometimes the symbol of the sun, the sign of life-giving power. As the goddess of fertility, Lada has her own annual cycles, which shows the belief that she resides in the abode of the dead until the vernal equinox. The rite of Ladarice was performed in Serbia under the name of Kraljice, is also well known. The basic features of this ritual being described by Vuk Karadžić, on a day of Holy Trinity, a group of ten young girls gather, one of whom is dressed as a queen, another as a king, and third as a standard bearer. The queen sits on a chair, while the rest of the girls dance around her, and king as the, and the standard bearer dance by themselves. In this way, the queens go from house to house, looking for girls to marry. Another feature of the rituals performed in honor of Lada is jumping over a fire. Vesna Among the Serbs, Vesna was the goddess of spring and she was also associated with youth. This goddess stands at the turning point of time and living conditions. Vesna is a goddess who was very popular with the Serbs because she replaced the rule of winter and death, that is Morena, Morena ruled winter and Serbs, especially northern ones, associated that period with death. 
Winter at that time was marked by lack of food, various diseases which is called by the cold and thus with many deaths. Vesna brings a complete upheaval in the lives of people and their pets. It brings green fields, flowering, pleasant weather, more suitable for life and work. With these changes in nature, Vesna brings joy to people's homes. Serbs celebrated spring precisely because it defeats winter and heralds summer. As spring symbolized the beginning of a beautiful age in a people, when a nature blooms, wakes up, is born again, and life is renewed, so Vesna got the role of goddess of youth. Vesna represents the renewal of life, one of the brightest divinities which brings joy of life, and that is why she was popular among the people. This fact is also evidenced by the fact that the female name Vesna is especially common among the Serbs. People give their doggers their name, believing that their doggers would be joyful and cheerful like the goddess Vesna, that is, like the spring. Namely, Vesna was the role model for women. She was beautiful and powerful, she spread intoxicating scents around her. In addition to beauty, she was also credited with power over the heat of the sun, without which spring could not come. They believed that Vesna was a favorite among the gods as well as, as among the people, she, since she was never lonely. She was followed by Gerovit, who watched over her, and Stribog, the god of wind and air. Vesna, Vesna is the goddess of victory and savior. She saves people from pain and suffering, defeats death and winter, and brings her rule to nature. The people celebrated and commemorated this victory brought by savior Vesna and in their customs. According to legend, Stribog brought Vesna every spring on the wings of a light and pleasant breeze of vigor. In a calculation between Morena and Vesna, Serbs always opted for Vesna, in customs, the Serbs carried a doll of Vesna on a branch, while the doll of Morena was drowned in a river or burned. This custom symbolically marked Vesna's victory over Morena. Vesna's victory is not final, because everything in nature repeats itself every year. That is why the fight between good and evil is repeated. The people celebrated Vesna and prayed to her through the prayers and various magical acts. Thus, he, the winter, thus she drove the winter and winter from their, home, their homes. Namely, it was believed that Vesna helps people and restores health damaged by winter and harmonizes nature to be harmonious, thereby strengthening the mind and heart of the people. With this, Vesna was considered the bringer of harmony and law. One of the holidays dedicated to Vesna was celebrated with spouses who got married the previous year. It was one of the most joyous holidays among the Serbs. Cakes with honey, called Medenčići, were prepared for this occasion. However, this holiday was later linked by the church to the day of the 40 martyrs, March 23rd, still known today as Mladenci. Vesna's flower festival was also held, and today it is called Cveti. In the rites of Vesna, believers were given to swallow a hazel bud or a hawthorn leaf. Children are on a tame flowering willows adorned with willow fringes and bells were placed around their necks. This rite also kept its name in Christianity and its name is Vrbice. Eggs were dried in the spring, usually in red, which symbolized the sun, fire and warmth, which Vesna brought with her arrival. Eggs, together with bread and wine, were given as gifts to the host of the house. The Slavs considered the cuckoo to be bad luck in the spring, especially when it crowed, while the swallow was a lucky bird, even identified with Vesna, because swallows are only tangible harbinger of springs. The swallows were never hunted, even families con considered it lucky if the swallows were to nest themselves under their roof. The rites dedicated to Vesna were also called dodolas, the, the rice dedicated to Vesna were also decorated by Dodolas, the young girls who sang songs dedicated to Vesna and were decorated with leaves and flower wreaths. Dodolas were part of ritual summoning rain, which was not only organized in honor of Vesna, but also of many other gods. Vesna was experienced by the Serbs as beautiful, smiling young girl surrounded by wreaths and in a white dress. 
Her hair was decorated with golden bells. She had big eyes. In the lower part of the waist, she had a large flower wreath. The creatures dedicated to Vesna were swallows, cuckoos and strokes. The holidays that were dedicated to Vesna have been retained in Christianity, namely Verbica, Cveti and Mladenci. Krat The god Krat was a great deity among the Serbs who also had a role in Sorbe's theology. His statues and temples are harder to find because they were destroyed over time. That's why we only mention him so that his role as the god of time is known. He represents time. He belongs to the order of the gods of Yav. These are the gods of the sky and the sun, unlike the gods of Nav, that is, the gods of underworld and darkness. According to that division, we have black and white gods. Gods of Yav and Nav. Serapis Serapis is a deity destined to become the unified belief of Europe and Asia. It was definitely established in Alexandria during the time of Ptolemy I Lagic. During the division of Alexander's empire, after his death, Ptolemy was given the administration of Egypt. He appears before the Egyptians as their new pharaoh and tries to make connections between the Serbs and the Egyptians. One of the main deities was god Serapis, who is a cross between the Serbian god Serbon and the Egyptian god Apis. Before this merging, there were temples of god Serbon in Alexandria, which were later called temples of god Serapis. One of the more important Serbon's temples in Babylon, which was cons consulted at the time of Alexander the Great's death, was there. Plutarch says that there was a temple of the same god in Sipon in Asia Minor. In order for this divinity to be complete, Ptolemy joined the goddess Isis as his pair. Isis was a great Egyptian goddess with many roles. Lagici in Alexandria made comparisons of various beliefs and sought which would be the most suitable for the general belief. For this purpose, they translated the Jewish Old Testament and other Jewish religious books. However, at that time, the learned people in Alexandria declared all those books as unsuitable. This is why the cult of Serapis was formed as a general belief. Serapis was declared the state religion by the Romans and spread throughout the empire. Only in the 4th century after Christ, when Christianity gained momentum, more precisely in 385 under the leadership of the Christian clergy, Serapis and his temple Serapeum in Alexandria were destroyed. In Roman Empire, there was a struggle between the fate of Serapis and that of Christ until Constantine the Great prevailed in favor of Christianity. Word of the Author this is the first Serbian Divonia that was done and is not complete. For a complete Serbian Divonia, the beliefs of all Serbian-born tribes, such as Rasens, the Etruscans in Italy, the Aryans in Asia, and the peripheral beliefs in Europe, should be processed. Jovan Deretic End